6 minus square root of 16 upon 4 minus square root of 15 under square root. Simplify this. So 6 minus square root of 16. So square root of 16 is 4 because 16 we can write it as 4 times 4 or 4 square and square root means power of 1 upon 2. So when 2 times 1 upon 2 this gets cancelled. So square root of 16 is 4 upon 4 minus square root of 15. Now to remove the square root from the denominator, let's multiply both the numerator and denominator by 4 plus square root of 15. Because if you multiply both the numerator and denominator by the same number, the value won't change. The value of the fraction won't change because this and this will get cancelled now. 6 minus 4 is 2. So, this is 2 times 4 plus 5 square root of 15 upon. Now, if you consider 4 as A and square root of 15 as B here, then this is in the form of A times B. Then, is, then this is in the form of A minus B times A plus B. And this we can write it as A square minus B square. So, 2 times 4 is 8 plus 2 multiplied to square root of 15 is 2 times square root of 15 upon 4 square minus square root of 15 square under square root or 8 plus 2 times square root of 15 upon 4 square is 16 minus this square root get cancelled with this square. So, 16 minus 15 under square root or now we have 8 plus 2 times square root of 15 under square root. Now, 8 we can write it as 5 plus 3 plus 2, 15 as square root of 15 as 5 times 3 under square root, all under square root. Now, we know when a square root is squared, then it is equal to the number. So, 5 we can write it as square root of 5 square. So, here 5 we can write it as square root of 5 square and 3 as square root of 3 square plus 2 and square root of 5 times 3 as square root of 5 times square root of 3 under square root. Now, if you see square root of 5 as a square root of 3 as b, then this is in the form of a square plus b square plus 2ab. So, we can write it as square root of 5 plus square root of 3 whole square under square root. Now, we can remove this square root with the square. So, answer is square root of 5 plus square root of 3. You can put the value of square root 5 and square root 3 to get the exact value or you can leave it here. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.